Hello. Hello. Um, hi, How are everybody. You? I'm Jamie. How are you? <laughs> Congratulations <laughs> on your stunning show. Um, oh, I was just thanks. watching it. It was so beautiful. Fantastic. Yeah, thank you. Well done. Thanks. Um, <laughs> thanks. I'm supposed to say my name is Jamie Perlman. I'm the editor and creative director for More or Less Magazine, and I'm here today with Amy Powney, the incredibly talented creative director of Motherhood of Pearl, who's just done a beautiful show at Copenhagen Fashion Week. Um, and tell me a bit more about your inspiration and um, and what was behind the uh, the idea of your new show. So, I mean, I've sort of. Uh moved away a little bit from the idea of kind of this season's about a specific thing and really more focusing just on the woman and what she wants and how to make women feel great and you know make sure everything's sustainable and you know look at all our all credentials as a brand and all the attributes that we put to our clothes and i've sort of come out of this idea of this very seasonal concept and i'm just much more sort of feeling very grounded and just you know making things that last that you know feel feel great look great and you know have been made correctly you know socially responsible and sustainably yeah i mean it's amazing you know to invest in clothing for a long period of time it just you know that's it's definitely better than overproducing on mass um for the environment so exactly, um yeah. and and um and so um in the past nature has always been a big influence in your work and you've collaborated with BBC Earth and the likes of David Attenborough and um, on the on the subject of sustainability. Um, how are you helping to promote change in the fashion industry with your brand? Yeah, I mean, this issue has been going on for a long time. I mean, 15 years ago when I did my graduate collection and um, back then I realized there was a huge social issue in the in the fashion industry and sort of as I sort of got, got further and further through my career sort of realized the you know enormous impact that it's having on the environment as well and you know I've really had to change my whole thinking and my whole process you know as a business owner um in this industry and a figurehead in the industry um it was really about kind of re-looking at the model and everything that we we do as an industry and thinking about whether that's correct whether that's outdated and what we should be doing and the truth is in many parts it's outdated so I've been trying to rethink about how we do things and you know can we collaborate with BBC for instance instead of you know I don't know just a classic sort of fashion collaboration how do we get that message out there how do we sort of raise awareness that a piece of clothing in a store has such an impact on the planet and how do we educate people about that and how they can have better choices and it's very complicated you know the supply chain is complicated and for many uh, people it's it's quite hard to wrap your head around so you know the idea of working with different platforms that aren't just fashion and trying to break it down for the you know for the the general public to to understand is you know been a huge passion of mine and bbc was one of those john lewis was another big project we worked on campaign for war and um his royal highness prince charles we worked on a project too to try and educate people so just rethinking wow. kind of the fashion uh, industry and, and how we can kind of yeah get those conversations going and change change the way we do things for the good yeah i think it's great you know especially kind of being an independent designer you can really you can probably facilitate greater change in, in your process than you know a lot of big brands that have huge supply chains and and massive um you know massive groups of people working for them it's much harder for them to facilitate changes and make the steps towards becoming more sustainable so it's really exciting that someone like you with a smaller more emerging brand can really kind of lead as an example for for people to look at and um and educate both um the consumer as well as these big brands and and the way yeah the the fashion system is in place no yeah i mean i um, think you know Sorry, I was just going to say that I do think big fashion brands, you know, it is more complicated because you, you're kind of sort of trying to steer this huge ship around, but they also have a lot of money. So there's other ways of looking at things as well. You know, I do think everybody has a duty and, and you know, everybody should be doing their part now, I think. Absolutely. Um, and so as everyone's acclimatizing to this new global landscape that we're a part of and um, as you said, you know, everyone's going to be held accountable. Everybody um, from big brands to small brands needs to rethink and relook at the way they practice. Um, what does the future hold for Mother of Pearl? 
So we've been, um, I mean, we spent the last five years working on our supply chain. So trying to get right back to kind of fields and trying to understand the entire process. You know, a lot of brands talk about who made their clothes, but we want to know who made our yarn, who sort of picked the cotton, you know, how far does it go, okay. go back and how can we sort of look at the supply chain from start to finish? And so that's been our real sort of goal for the last five years. But now we're coming out of that, having learned a lot, kind of got quite a lot of strong supply chains in place. Now we're focusing on the three R's, so looking at recycle, repair, rental. And now mm -hmm. looking at the product, once it hits the world, what can we do to help our customers facilitate keeping it in the world as long as it can without sort of ending up in landfill? And how do we sort of help them and give them some solutions on how to, I guess, be more sustainable once they've purchased that piece in the first place and trying to turn the brand into a sort of 360 thinking in, in sustainability, you know, not just the kind of linear model of supply chain to to sales so we're trying to kind of encompass every part of it uh, within in the brand um, and just up our communications game you know try and sort of help spread that message even more amazing um well huge congratulations the collection mm -hmm. looks absolutely stunning and i'm i'm so impressed with um you and your ethos and it's very inspiring to hear about the way you're running your business and i hope um other brands will kind of look to you as as a role model um, mm. and people will get on board and become more sustainable. Fingers crossed. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, thank you so much. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye.